lockdowns and mandates, we're seeing things change very quickly, and rightly so. Dr. Tam has said that vaccine mandates should be reevaluated, and today the chair of the Quebec Liberal Caucus clearly and strongly stated it's time to end the divisiveness and the politicization and end the mandates. We Conservatives could not agree more. This cannot be a slow and dragged out process simply because of the Prime Minister's ego, pride, or denial. Canadians are too tired. Canadians need hope. So will the Prime Minister follow the science, follow the evidence, and the restrictions, and the mandates? Countries like Ireland, Sweden, Norway, Israel, Czech Republic, the UK, Di Spain, Denmark, they're all removing restrictions and mandates, and they're all countries that have a lower vaccine rate than Canada. Hmm. Here in Canada, though, we have a Prime Minister who refuses to lead and instead is being divisive. I have to agree with the MP for Louis Hebert when he says, people don't know where public health ends and politics begins. Canadians want their lives back. So again, I ask the Prime Minister, Will you follow? Will he follow the evidence? Will he follow the science and the mandates and the restrictions quickly? Right. Speaker, the Prime Minister has politicized the pandemic and been divisive, and even his own members are seeing it. Now, countries around the world are opening up, and even here in Canada, provinces are opening up. They're following the science and the evidence, whether it's Dr. Henry in BC, Dr. Moore in Ontario. They all agree we have to learn to live with COVID. Conservatives believe that living with COVID means opening up and ending the mandates, and I believe there are some Liberals who believe the same thing. So will the Prime Minister follow the science and the lockdowns and let Canada once again be the true North, strong and free? This is one of the most epic, most heartfelt, genuine, compassionate, or not compassionate, but passionate statements to these fake, phony, fraudulent politicians. Trudeau, Mr. Blackface himself, is calling the convoy of truckers who are protesting white supremacists and all this other stuff. That's the only, only thing they got at this point, call you white supremacist. But I want y'all to hear what she had to say because I think this was incredible. And, and I think that it, it tells a true vigor for and zeal for the people of Canada. And this woman hit the nail on the head. Name is Candace. Uh, Bergen, I think that's how you say her name, wrote a film. Mr. Speaker, all Canadians want to see a leader who will work to heal rifts, not further divide. A leader who will listen, even to those voices he might not agree with. A leader who will work to understand, not dismiss, name call and gaslight. Contrary to some, there are thousands of passionate, patriotic and peaceful Canadians on the Hill right now who just want to be heard. Will the Prime Minister extend an olive branch and will he listen? Member for Portage Lisker. So that guy got up and defended Trudeau and said all this old crazy stuff. So and then she came back with a with a with a with a heavy hand. Of course we all condemn hateful and destructive acts by a few at any protest. Whether it's beheading the statue of Queen Victoria in Manitoba, tearing down the statue of Sir John A. in Montreal, or putting flags on Terry Fox, whether it's burning churches, whether it's wearing blackface, whether it's Hezbollah flags or Nazi flags, we all condemn it. But I'm not talking about that, Mr. She's going to be their, their prime minister right there. But I love that. I love that she said that because they always want to gaslight us with that. They want to say, oh, but look at us. No, we, no, no. We all condemn those things. Nobody supports racist people or white supremacists and all this. Stuff. Nobody. Don't even waste your time trying to act like this is what the argument is. You're gaslighting. This is not the argument. Everybody condemn that. Let her tell you what she's really talking about. I apologize that that minister is misleading Canadians. I do get very defensive of Canadians who are outside today, patriotic, peace-loving Canadians who are called misogynist and racist by the Prime Minister. Black so again, I will ask the Prime Minister, who may I remind this House wore blackface on more times than he can remember. Apologize to the peace-loving, patriotic Canadians who are outside right now just asking to be heard. Will he speak to them? She just made her, her run for the prime minister. The 
small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing do not represent the views of Canadians. Canadians, including senior members of the Liberal caucus, are speaking loud and clear. Canadians are looking for pandemic leadership. Canadians are standing up right now, grabbing this moment in our history, because they know there is something fundamentally wrong when a Prime Minister refuses to listen. Countries around the world are changing direction, but here in Canada, our Prime Minister resorts to playground antics and calling names. If ever there was a time for inspired leadership, it is now. Will the Prime Minister grow up? Will he do his job? Will he listen to Canadians? Yeah.